Hello, traders. Uh, the title of the video is uh, What to Do When the Price uh, Confirms Your Alio Wave uh, Forecast. All right, so you have forecast the markets. Now the price is confirming your forecast. So you're expecting it to go up. Now it start going up. Or you're expecting it to go down. Now it start going down. What should you do? That's a very important question uh, that we want to answer in this uh, uh, tutorial. Many times, in your way, traders will forecast the market accurately, but they do not get pay at all. All right. Sometimes the mistake that they will make is that they will enter the trade before the price will confirm it. Sometimes the price will confirm the expectation, and they will rush to buy or sell, or they will not time the market accurately, or they will use the wrong instrument, I will explain that to you in a minute, the wrong trading instrument to participate okay, in the price action. All right. There are many ways that we can handle uh, the confirmation of the area wave of forecast. Right. So another trader may say to me, how do I know that the price has confirmed my forecast? That's a very important question. So you are expecting it to go up, like you have done your forecast on a monthly chart, you will see if you are expecting it to go down, at least minimum, you will see a common set line be broken to the downside. Or price violating, okay, the rising channel. Or price breaking, a, a rising pitfall tool. So those are first indication to you that the price is confirming, okay, your alien wave forecast. As we are here, we are looking at the DAX 100. I'm on the monthly chart. This is number three for the third way. We were expecting the third way to end here. And we draw a line there, 7677. We say prior to bullish signal above, prior to bearish signal below. And this is exactly what's happened. But the confirmation came out when the price, you see this uh, triangle here you see this triangle here all right the price come down so we say to trader when you see a triangle just think of it as a warning anything is possible all right don't go into the old way of thinking and thinking that this is a bullish continuation this is a belly continuity just see it as a, anything is possible be ready to buy a bow and be ready to buy below so if it's price find support a bow yes Look for an opportunity to buy using a different time frame. Trade the metal if you break below it, that's it. So here it break below that triangle. So it's telling us that there's a high chance that is going down. This is the first confirmation to us, though the price can see as he break, he was coming out of the channel, just going below it now. You see here? So as this monthly candlestick bar is closed, the price came out of that uh, triangle and also closes below the orange. Okay, I draw many channels. I don't want to remove them. Okay, my policy trainers. Okay, the orange a channel okay, came out of it, closed below it. But it was also at the support level. You see, this was a support level for the NASDAQ 100. Okay, in the zone of 7000. All right, it was a support level. So the price was sitting there, all right? So that's the first indicator to us that the price is confirming our area wave forecast. Now, we want to buy, we want to sell, all right? So because we're expecting a fourth wave in an uptrend, we want to sell. So in order to sell, all right? So if you see the first reaction price coming down, you see this kind of thing, but it's too long now. So if you are selling it after this long kind of thing, you need to be very, very careful. Careful, very, very careful. And um, this is a, a high speed move down volatile, all right? Because high volatility is usually followed by low volatility and possible reversal. So when you see that, you need to be careful. So the strategy is to wait for a bounce up if you want to sell. See here. So as this monthly currency bar is open in November, uh, it went up to retest the edge of the, the, the channel, the orange channel there. Right. So you have to understand that you are not the only person that is forecasting the market. There are other traders that did forecast the market, probably have done the same thing like you, or probably they have the same expectation like you, and they are waiting to enter the trade carefully because they want to get paid. Or they have done their homework, it's time to get paid. So they are, they are waiting for a rally into a resistance level or a break below a support level, finding a resistance, something that can help them to sell. Sometimes it can be quite challenging to participate in the trade. When a price like this candlestick kind of bar may go down, ooh, yeah. So if you are not already in the trade, it can be a challenging thing. But sometimes, 
trade, they can get away with all kind of uh, market timing errors by using, for instance, a call option. Call option is to buy using the option. All right, so you buy, you are paying a premium for the for the for the call option. And if the trend did not, it's not successful. You lose your premium. Same thing, you can use a put option to sell. Now, uh, I need to explain to trade. I'm not expert of uh, option. There are other traders out there that are dealing with that matter with you too. So if you want to know more, ask those traders. I don't want to uh, deal with too many topics at the same time. So those are the things traders use. So some traders say, all right, you start going down, but I'm not very good at market timing. I'll use a put option to sell it. Uh, again, talking about option, you are talking about time expiration. How long your option is valid? Is it for three months? Is it for six months? Is it for one month? All right, and so on. All right, so you, you how far the price already went down? Is there enough room for it to go down before you start using your put or your call option? You see, so those are the things you want to take into consideration. All right, so you do not want to come into it through late or using a put or call option, all right, depending on whether you are buying or selling. So that's what I've said to you. Are you using the, the correct instrument to participate in the market? What is your strong point? What are the tools you have at your disposal to participate in the trade? Do you use a top-down trading method? Are you a skillful, okay, technical trader? All right. Sometimes it can be very, very, okay, volatile, as you can see here. And sometimes trader will use put a call option. As I said already, how far the price already went down? Okay, how much time do you got left? Is there enough room for the price to go down more or to go up more? So all these things, you take them into consideration. But you want to make sure first that the price has already confirmed, okay, your expectation here, the triangle was taken out, and also the channel is taken out, that can see by its close on the time frame in, on which you are counting your wave on, all right, and then you see that it's confirming it. But it, you see that sometimes they get carried away. So you see that like this, price can change direction here, so this can see bar, you can see, can go back out, price can go up here. So in every situation, we are taking risk, that's for sure. All right, so, it comes down like this, I like more, the different time frame to the metal, which means it is going to go down, I'm waiting for a signal, using a different time frame to the metal. No signal, I'm stuck with it. If I want to play it in a different way, then somebody else may buy, for instance, uh, call or put option, all right? I want to say to trader that love to buy, uh, is for instance, you are in the third wave, all right, the, the second wave has ended and they end your wave, uh, the price confirmed to you that the third wave is likely to begin, all right? Sometimes it may start and fail, which will form the X wave, yes or no? It doesn't mean because the, the confirmation is starting, definitely the price will fulfill all the expectations. Sometimes the price may fulfill the expectation partially or temporary, which means the price can go down a little bit, and then everybody thinks what's going on, and you just run away again before somebody has pushed it back down. <laughs> All right? So that's a temporary confirmation. All right? <laughs> or sometimes it will do it partially. All right? Okay? So you want to take all this. So what I want to say to trade that want to participate in the bullish any way focus. So you are expecting the price to go up for some time, especially what to call the third wave. In that scenario, if you are somebody who hate to lose or you have been losing so much or you are struggling with uh, market uh, forecast, market timing, market timing, uh, personally, it's not, this is not an advice. This video is for educational purposes, all right? I need to mention that. Personally, what I would do is to use, to buy and hold. So like here, or at the beginning of the third way, you are thinking, okay, probably this is the beginning of the third way. The Federal Reserve policy is confirming it also. Usually, you see that this was happening here. The Federal Reserve was confirming the fourth way by putting up interest rate in the United States, and the money was coming out of the stock market into other, okay, the financial instruments, other sectors. That's what's going on here. So, the confirmation can take place in different shapes. So, 
usually the hedge fund pay attention to the central bank, the decision that they are making. So technically speaking, you see the confirmation. And then the policy also is in place. That's good scenario. The market environment, we will also pay attention to that. But what I want to say to you here is that when you want to buy and hold, sometimes you buy and then they take you out. And then you buy, you pick you out. And this is one scenario I first uh, years ago when I was buying uh, Facebook. I talked about it before. I remember that clearly. And they, 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 they nicked my 700 pound. I hate that. Uh, they took my money very fast, all right? Somewhere, somewhere here, they took my money, all right? But I knew that uh, uh, this stock is, should go up. I was trying to get into the trade somewhere here. But look at that. It just went down for, for that zone. I think somewhere in this session here, so they, they took me out. And, uh, and then from there, the pie went up. I was so disappointed I didn't go back to that trade, you see? So, but what I want, with that experience, I say, all right, what I should have done in that point, instead of using spread betting, or other trading instrument, that's what you're talking about. The instrument that you are using, is it option, is it spread betting, is it binary betting, is it CFD? What kind of trading instrument should you use when the, the price is confirming your setup? So here, I will, that's, where, that's why I'm saying to you personally, if we're going to catch a strong bullish move, it's personally, I would prefer to buy and hold from you. You have a portfolio, all right, with your bank, all right, or whatever, uh, with your broker, and you just buy and hold it. So in that scenario, you are buying for long term, all right? So they may, the price may go down, stay there for whatever. But over the year, as you can see here, blah, 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 fingers crossed. Because you need a bit of luck, though, all right? You've done your bit. You've done everything that you need to do correctly. You still need a bit of luck. That's very important in training. I will be talking about that in another video. Sometimes traders say, oh, I lost. Sometimes it's just bad luck. they done everything correctly, but the market didn't accept them. It was not nice to them. Or the market did not smile to them. That's the way I like to see it. And when it happened, I just blink, 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 and turn my back and do something else. All right? Go away from the computer. They are not very nice to you. Especially financial instruments like, uh, I do not trade, for instance, the Swiss... Uh, 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 where is it? The, the euro Swiss fund. Not very friendly at all to me, so I stay away from it. I just say, I'm not trading this anymore. Right? <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, if the market is confirming your area way forecast, personally, that's my opinion. You do not have to accept my opinion. It's not an advice, all right? And you want to buy. You are expecting the price to go out for in a bullish environment, which means the price confirming your forecast, and there is a policy in place, which means the policy is not reaching the top. So it's not the policy was in place for too long. This is the timing. So you don't want to be the you want to go to a party, you don't want to come to the party in the last 30 minutes. That's what I'm saying. Trading also sometimes they say it's going up, it's going to go up. But it has been going up for too long. And you want to buy now here when everybody come one, two, three, four, five internal wave or the third wave, it's going to go up. Yeah, it's going to go up in the long term, but your timing is not very good. Wait for the fourth wave first before you will try again for the fifth wave. You see, this is what we are talking about. So, in order to this is it, you have done everything correctly. Okay, as an alien wave trader, it's not easy to come away. You have done your preliminary, preliminary wave count. You have validated your wave count. You were very patient. You go into the mind of other traders. You say, yes, this is my day. Now, here it is. It's happening. Or you want to get, make sure that you get paid. So, first thing you want to clarify is the confirmation value. Yes, it is. It's coming out of the triangle. That's the first indication. Then you can do other verification. Look at stochastic. Look for, look at MACD. Look at other verification. What's going on? So, okay, good. Now, which trading instrument should I use? Spread betting, binary, CFD, option, or right, call or put option, buy and hold, all right, and so on. So you decide now what kind of instrument, depending, all right, or the, how long you want to stay in the market. The next thing that you can do when the price is beautifully, gorgeously 
Okay, <laughs> confirm me. It's nice feeling though. It's a very nice feeling, especially if you are day trading using the area way, and the price just of one time. I have a. I was talking about it to traders. Um, uh, go to www.24indiaway.com, click on in your way live and live day trading uh, on that particular day. The prior was confirming the A. I think it was a flat correction. <laughs> it's just a nice feeling. It's like a, <laughs> you are ahead of everybody. All right? It's a nice feeling. So once that feeling is sinking, you don't want to lose. You don't want to lose. So it's a trader game really, 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 really down when they forecast the market correctly but they don't get paid they say oh what should i do oh, oh, oh. the feeling is too bad i can understand that all right because they have done their homework and they're expecting the fourth way it's now happening and they buy a uh, sell or whatever they're doing and they are not getting paid what's going on this is it so the next thing that you can do also is that you're expecting it to go down okay all right or you're expecting it to go Price going down. What, what's the meaning of the price going down? It's critical. The price going down. The price looking for a bearish target level. That's it. <laughs> or the price looking for a better support level. Draw all the key level. You see why I left all this line here. Somebody, somebody may say to me, John, why do you have so a messy chart like this? You see here I have that orange channel, and you have the blue line here. It's almost the blue one. The blue channel on top is the projection of the orange one not perfect okay but it's there you have another a pink channel can you see that pink channel is there and you can see here uh, the price when it pulled down it touched the media line or that pink channel can you see that you see that pink channel it touched it there and then it rally up a bit to touch a brown line what's that brown line it's a pitchfork tool you see that picture too okay that's the, the media line of that gigantic pitchfork tool so if i i want a clean chart for the beauty of having a clean chart you miss a lot of information. So that's why the, 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 the high frequency trader, the algorithm, they, they see all this line, you see. You, they see them, they see them all. They, they make decisions around them, they see them all. But if you human being, or you remove them, you may not see them. So you may lose crazy to some traders say, George, I never see any dirty chart like yours. All right? <laughs> but here it is, you see. It's touching the media line of that pitchfork tool right there. Uh, are you getting it? Are you getting it? This is what's going on now. All right. And now where are we? You see that black line there? Is the media line of the lower half of the pitch of two. Can you see that? This is a half of the pitch, the lower half of the pitch of two. We divide it into two. That's the black line. That's where the price is touching it now. The NAX 100 is touching it now. So draw all the key level, trend line, channel, pitch for two. You, you, you see, you can have two pitchforks two on the same chart, have them all on your chart. It doesn't mean that, all right, you just go and buy and sell at those key level. You are looking for trading opportunity around those key level. So while the price is doing very often, you break it below one key level and try to retest it to confirm it as a resistance level. So I posted a video recently at the George Trio, as a George Washington, George Trio uh, YouTube channel, talking about how to find the best resistance key level, like uh, a professional bearish trader. Very simple video, 40 minutes, check it out. All right. Okay. So this is it. So, but when it comes to sell, so we are talking about what to do when the price is confirming the area we forecast. I talk about when we are expecting a bullish price move. All right, we are reaching twenty minutes, so I will wrap it up soon. All right. So, we personally, I prefer buy and hold. All right, but when it comes to bearish setup like this. I don't, I don't predict and short it while right, using CFD, put option, and hold it for a long time. But I don't get into that. <laughs> well, I would prefer technical trading or right, timing it because the selling is more professional. Uh, it's not easy. And the market will always resist price going down. People will criticize it. People will try to stop it. And uh, you need to be on your toes and know exactly what's happening. So uh, I will recommend that you use the price action. Even if you are using the put option, which is good, 
and keep your eyes on what's going on so at the end of the day you get paid so apart from okay making sure that you make sure you, you, you the confirmation of the your forecast is correct and or using the correct trading tool you understand trading instrument all right cfd binary all right buy and hold all right and so on option blah 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 all right you want to draw the key level all right whether in an uptrend or downtrend the channel trend line p for to everything else and have them ready like you can see here if you break below so for now it's 100 trade that trade now is 100 the baby low. So how do I draw this picture? You see, beginning of the trend, okay, point A, point B, top of it, all right, and then point C, they pull back here, all right, and then I draw that gigantic picture two. Then I divide each half into two. This is the upper half that I divide into two. That the blue line here. So you can see that the third wave almost touches the median line of the upper half. You see, now it pull back to retest the ghost going going from one median line to the next median line. So if you break below that black line, which is the upper, uh, the, the media line of the lower half of the piece of two, what's the next key level? We see that. So if I didn't draw all this line, you understand what they probably often do. Uh, the next target will be, okay, you see that red channel. Can you see that? That red channel? So now you understand why I have all this. You see, there's another channel here. Okay, the channels uh, are indicating to us the market sentiment. So there's another rising channel here. 2010, another low here, 2011, another low here. We choose one point that's parallel there, and we draw that red channel. If you break below that median line, we watch the top of that red channel. If you break below that, the top of that red channel, we want to watch the median line of that red channel, and so on, uh, the low of the, the red channel, and the lower part of the pitch for two, and even the moving average 100. Didn't I say before that bullish trend always on every time frame take place above the moving of 100 so where was that trend above the moving 900 that's how we designed the tsgw24 trading system is it going to come all the way to the moving of 100 no one knows what the price doing when it's going down it break below it test ten out sometimes can be fast so <laughs> Control the risk. If you are a technical trader, all right, and the price confirming like this, you are swing trading, all right. Especially you are swing trading, all right. So you see, you see, three hundred pips every day. You come, you open your account, you say, see, three hundred pips. You are smiling, all right. Maybe you are trading part time. You go to where you check, you see, yes, still there. You feeling good. Move your stop loss. I command you, like the general, all right. <laughs> Now this to make you laugh. I command you to move your stop loss. Move your stop loss. What are you? So you're using originally for instance 80 pips, all right? Now you see it goes down. Ooh, 200 pips. You say yes, George, I love you. No, you don't love me yet until you move the stop loss. All right, move the stop loss. Okay, to follow the price. And so pay move on. Ah, 200 pips. Move your stop loss at least 100 pips. All right. So let's start securing gains because sometimes what's happening, swing traders, one in the, I saw it one time when I uh, have a losing trade, all right? Uh, night time, everything was looking good. Back in the morning, everything has changed. The price changed the direction. So we are talking about price going down now. Nothing can stop the price next day. Boom, 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 boom. We are back here. Say, oh, George, oh, 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 you were talking about, yeah, am I the price? The price, the king. So secure your gains by all costs, all right? Don't be too greedy, all right? Sometimes it's good to be greedy, but you don't want to be stupidly greedy. You want to be in charge of it and control it and making sure you get the maximum out of it, all right? Sometimes traders leave money on the table. Don't cry for that, all right? So some traders prefer to buy, okay, they will sell, and they come back again and sell, and they leave a lot of money on the table by doing so. Sometimes you need to move your stop loss. So you see 100, 150 pips, you say, all right, that's good enough for me. So move it to 100 at least. <laughs> all right, move it to 100 or 120 at least. Sometimes because of moving the stop loss, they may quickly close the trade for you prematurely. You say, oh, George, that thing of moving the stop loss, you said it, I'll mark this video down, that's fine. But sometimes it will be very helpful, which means they cut your profit down but sometimes it will, it will increase your profit. The price is going down, you move it, it's going down. Move it, you secure it, and you secure it. 
So it's like this now, traders have their stop loss somewhere in those zones here. You will see the target, I'll show you now. You know, price start going down, <laughs> you see, you, you, that's why it bounces out very fast. You see, this is a long candlestick that you see. So they, they, they move their stop, technical trader more moving in their stop loss too. That's why they, they are creaming it. That's in the proper sense of the world to cream it. That's what they are doing. They are, or they are milking it. Do you prefer milking or creaming? Let me know. <laughs> In the comment section, so they sit on it and write it down, okay, without letting even one drop on the floor. That's very, very mean, all right. <laughs> but you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> okay. So, this is how is what you should do, what the price confirm in your way of focus. Have I said everything, or have I forgotten something? Or please let me know if I did forget something, let me know in the comment section. And of course, I will be busy again recording another video. By the way, today is the 25th of uh, December. People will say, John, it's Christmas Day. Yes. Happy Christmas to you all. Enjoy yourself. And see you again very soon. Soon will be 2019. And we will be live day trading. The alien way principle. If this video has been truly, truly useful to you, uh, please let us know by giving us your beautiful thumbs up. If you dislike it, don't go away. Be sure to mark it. You are part of the team by marking it down. We don't hate you for that. You are saying, John, uh, today you, you're talking like a, like a frog, all right? Because of that, I mark it down. Okay, so mark it down, please. All right. That will put that under pressure to improve the next recording. I'm, I'm moving my ear. However, if you think this is an essential tutorial, feel free to share with your friend on Google Plus, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, subscribe to our channel today. Our channel is 24 Elliot Wave. Digit 2, Digit 4, Elliot Waves in plural. Subscribe today and stay put. And be sure to click on the notification bell. As they say, ring the bell. Okay. So anytime we're about to live a stream, a pre-recorded video, you will be the first person to be notified. Google will notify you. I usually give trainer two hours. So they say, oh, that stupid George again is going to talk with his frog voice. Today I'm a bit interested. I'm in a good mood watching. So you take the note, all right? And then 30 minutes later, all right, as the live stream is about to begin, uh, you too, we are let you again and say, very soon you'll be watching a video together with George. If it's free or it's available, then we watch it together, all right? So this will conclude our discussion today about what to do when the price confirm your area wave uh, focus. You have any suggestion or you have another way to handle okay this scenario when the price confirm your area wave focus? I want to hear from you, please. All right, let us know in the comment section. All right, I really appreciate that. For traders that are sharing our video, I would like to take this opportunity at Christmas Day to thank you very much for sharing our video. I like the real interaction on the two for Alien Wave, and I'm working hard, okay, to please everybody. All right. Some traders are still saying, George, so far you haven't answered my question about how to determine the end of the third wave as you have promised. I did not forget that. You see, I did not forget. <laughs> okay. So see you in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.